I forgot we already opened the box from the bottom. Shout out to Ome for bubble wrapping it really well because when your brother opens your exhaust box from the bottom and you forget about it, Tomei's here to save the day with their nice bubble wrap. Damn! Look how pretty! Oh my god! What is going on guys? Today we have a very special car park going on, the BRZ. We received a gift from our friends over at Tome. This is their new dual exit exhaust. This thing looks so freaking beautiful. The welds are just absolutely gorgeous and I just cannot wait to hear how it sounds. We've all seen the original single exit exhaust. The thing with the single exit is that it looks really cool on one side, but then on the other side, it's just completely empty. There's nothing there. And I know a lot of people don't like that. So Tome heard us. They solved the issue with their new dual tip. This thing looks freaking insane. We here are huge fans of Tomei. My original BRZ had a Tomei. My STI had a Tomei. My R32 Skyline GTR had a Tomei. And my little brother has a Tomei. We love Tomei. Their exhausts sound amazing and they look so freaking cool. In the box, we got literally everything we would possibly need to install this thing. We got gaskets. We got springs. We got hardware. We got everything. It came with two silencers. Fun fact, I actually used to use these when I used to go to college and I had to wake up super early in the morning not to bother my neighbors. We probably won't end up using them now, but they're really nice to have. Let's go ahead, throw this thing in. I am so pumped. There we go. There we go. Installing the Tomei is pretty easy. The best thing about it is that it's titanium, so it's extremely lightweight. This whole exhaust literally weighs nothing. This is the heaviest part of the exhaust. It's so freaking light. I love it. Titanium is great to work with. The only thing is that you can stain it with your hand. The oils from your hand can stain the titanium. So try to wear gloves if you want to keep it looking pretty. So this pipe with the resonator goes in right after the front pipe. This is the only side that has a two bolt flange that connects to the front pipe. After that, Tomei has a slip on style. This slips onto the Y pipe and then the Y pipe slips onto both of the mufflers. Personally, I like the slip on style a little bit better because you don't have to worry about gaskets, which is great. Make sure that the bolt side of the clamp is facing down. Do that right there. This part slips right over here. I'm not gonna tighten down any of the clamps or anything. I'm gonna install the entire exhaust first, get all the fitment properly dialed in, and then I'll go ahead and tighten. Just because I know if I tighten this right now, the mufflers may not line up and then I'm gonna have to loosen it and then re-tighten it. So I'll just leave it loose, tighten it all at the end once the fitment is all dialed in. So again, I'm just putting everything in really lightly, not tightening anything down because we need to dial in the fitment. Ooh, that looks spicy. Here's why we didn't tighten anything yet. The exhaust is slightly hitting on the diffuser, which we obviously don't want that. We're gonna pull this out a little bit more. Since these are slip on stuff, they adjust very lightly. Right now I have the tip pushed in all the way. If I wanted to make it more aggressive and make it like a blast pipe type of thing, we could just pull it out a little bit and look at that. It's a little bit more aggressive. Honestly, I kind of like the more tamed look. So we're gonna keep pushed in. This is sticking out all the way and then that's pushed in all the way. Let's find the happy medium because yeah. I don't want it all the way out. This is like medium out. I think I like this. I like it. It's not too far out where it looks obnoxious. It's not too far in where it's not aggressive. It took a while to dial this in, but both the exhausts are now centered in the exhaust hole. It took a little bit, but it was definitely worth it. Time for the first startup, boys. Let's hear it. It's so loud. I don't even, can you guys even hear me? It's so loud. Oh my God, I love it. All right, toned down a little bit now. That was a cold start. Damn, <laughs> that thing sounded good. Light tap, we're indoors here. <laughs> Is it just me or does this sound like an STI? Yeah, a little bit. 
It sounds like an STI. But let's take this outside, go for a few pulls, see how it sounds outdoors and how it sounds in the higher RPMs. But I feel like this is much less raspy than the single exit. But it sounds really good, boys. It sounds really freaking good. Give it a little rev. <laughs> Stop, right there. Having a good time? I can tell why you didn't want to do it. <laughs> Keep coming. Stop. This is fun, dude. Hold on. Oh, oh my god. That is screaming STI. I don't know if you guys can hear it through the camera or not, but that is screaming my old STI. It's got the sound of an STI, but definitely not the speed. <laughs> I almost never drive with my windows up, but for you guys, I am gonna drive with my windows up on the highway right now to kind of just show you guys the drone. Like I said, the drone is there. It definitely is noticeable, but honestly, it's not that bad. 